Manan Sala and H.R. Ocampo, the zenith of two neorealists. Vicente Manan Sala, Pounding Rice, 1979. Hernando R. Ocampo, Cityscape 2, 1972. In 1956, or just a decade after Philippine independence in 1946, H.R. Ocampo and Vicente Manansala were singled out among five major talents who defined art in the Philippines in that first modernist decade. H.R. Ocampo's singular achievement, critic Ricaredo de Metilio said, was to demonstrate the symbolic use of color and lines so that his canvases were testament to the human condition of our time. Along with Victorio Edades, he was named as a pioneer of modern art in the Philippines. Vicente Manansala, on the other hand, was described as creating a rich art rooted in our own climate by his vigorous, almost peasant, awareness of reality. By the 1970s, Manansala had perfected his artistic idiom known as transparent cubism, fragmenting the facets of everyday life to create a Filipino neo-reality. In Manansala's pounding rise, the master has selected a common country scene of women engaged in all the necessary tasks of rural living, winnowing rice, pounding it, and also preparing to go to market, in this case with homegrown vegetables. Common objects from ordinary life were thus transformed into symbols of our modernity by Manansala's unique understanding, or what Demetilio would call his piety. Hernando R. Ocampo, on the other hand, would relentlessly record his urban jungle. He continued to live in the same neighborhood he had grown up in, in Maypaho, Caloocan. It could be the city roofs and church spires set ablaze with the first morning light or it could be the fiery yellows and reds of H.R. Ocampo's deep spirituality. He too would refine his painting in what he called visual melodies, a period between 1968 and 1978 where colors would create a cascade of coursing life on his canvases.